All right, everybody. So at the 11th hour, the Pittsburgh Steelers finally get a receiver. And it's one that I think a lot of us kind of expected them to get. Uh, Mike Williams being traded from the New York Jets to Pittsburgh. Uh, the Steelers give up a fifth round pick in 2025 to get him. And immediate thoughts from me are overall good. You know, nothing flashy or anything like that, but it does make their receiving room better. Um, you basically now have George Pickens and George Pickens light where, you know, Mike Williams is going to be another deep threat. You know, he's going to get some some moon ball targets and that's good. It also allows the Steelers to move Van Jefferson into more of a utility boundary role. He can kind of play a uh, power slot as well. So. Yeah, overall, my reactions to this are it's a net positive move and one where, you know, I saw a few people say, oh, I mean, a fifth round pick, you know, considering what other guys have gone for, feels like a little bit of an overpay. That's kind of the situation that they put themselves in, right? Where, you know, they weren't able to get Brandon Ayuk, they weren't able to get Devontae Adams, the Cooper Cup stuff never really came to fruition because the Rams kept winning and they held on to him. So, um, they needed to get somebody, you know, regardless of, you know, all the, uh, the lip service and that they'll, that they'll give about Van Jefferson, nothing against Van Jefferson. It's just, he's not a number two receiver. If you want to be a legit contending team and say whatever you want about Mike Williams before this year, I mean, he was a legit number two, uh, for the chargers and, you know, lo and behold, what do you expect when you go to the New York jets and look what the jets have been this year? I mean, they're a three and six team where Aaron Rodgers hasn't looked like himself. The Jets offense hasn't really found any sort of consistency. And there's a lot of guys in that offense that they've got to feed where, you know, they just traded for Devontae Adams. They have Garrett Wilson. Uh, Alan Lazard uh, emerged as more of a, um, you know, a target guy than I think a lot of people expected, both the running backs in the backfield and Brees Hall and Braylon Allen. So he just kind of fell through the cracks. And this was also somewhat expected once – you know, murmurs about Mike Williams started coming out because you remember in the offseason, the Steelers had a visit scheduled with Mike Williams, um, but he visited the Jets first. They gave him a lot of money and he decided to sign with the Jets before ever visiting Pittsburgh. So not too surprised that the Steelers would circle back around on this and, you know, try to make something happen. And obviously it gets done. And well, like I said, I, I think overall it's a good move. You know, you needed to do something. This makes the receiving core better. Obviously, it's not a flashy move per se, but it's a good vet. Uh, he's better than Van Jefferson. He's better than whoever else you're going to put on the outside, Scotty Miller. You know, it's a legit receiver. And you look at his numbers over the past few years uh, when completely healthy. Uh, he's been He's been a really solid receiver in Los Angeles with Justin Herbert. Um, he's got almost five career receiving yards. Uh, he's got, you know, almost 400 catches for his career. So guy that's been around the block gives them um, you know, a good, reliable, deep threat alongside George Pickens, who is that. And now if you're opposing defenses, I mean, now you have to worry about George Pickens and Mike Williams on the outside taking the top off. So if teams are going to kind of lean toward Pickens to take him away, all right, you got one-on-one -on -one shots to Mike Williams. If Mike Williams starts going off a little bit and they shift a little bit towards Mike Williams, then you got George Pickens. And we've seen this exact offense work before. Not in Pittsburgh, necessarily, but the Tennessee Titans did this exact same thing uh, when Arthur Smith was there in 2019 and 2020, where they just ran a lot of, all right, we're going to run the ball, run the ball, play action, deep shot. And that's how they got to the AFC title game. So now I'm not sitting here saying that the Steelers are a shoe and to do that because the AFC is very difficult and you got to worry about obviously Kansas City and Buffalo and Houston and Baltimore. Um, but they are gearing up to be a team to be reckoned with in January. Right now they're six and two. If they win on Sunday, you get to seven and two. I mean, that's a damn good start. So I like the direction that they're going in because we've seen this work before with Arthur Smith calling plays. You know, run the ball, run the ball, play action, deep shot to A.J. Brown. Well, now it's run the ball, run the ball, play action, deep shot to George Pickens or run the ball, play action, deep shot to Mike Williams. This can work. 
And so far it has worked. And now you add in another guy who's capable of doing the things that this offense circles and centers around. I can't complain about the move at all. Again, I know a lot of people were hoping for a DK Metcalf. I don't think that was ever a real possibility. Uh, Adam Schefter put it out earlier today saying, yeah, despite, you know, a lot of chatter, the Seahawks aren't trading DK Metcalf. And to me, that felt like translation, like shut up Steelers fans. That's not happening. Um, then again, it's, it's not a flashy move. It's not a, you know, superstar acquisition, but it is a really good scheme fit. That's going to help open up more opportunities for George Pickens, more opportunities for Calvin Austin and Pat Fryer move underneath. Cause if you've got, if you consistently have to stay in too high to worry about either receiver beating you over the top, then you're going to have the safety blankets underneath that can catch the ball and run after the catch. Eventually that's going to force a loaded box and then you can take those play action deep shots. So I think that this is a really good overall move for the Steelers that will benefit them going forward. And especially going into a stretch where, yeah, you're going to have to have as many playmakers as you can get your hands on. You've got Washington and you've got, uh cleveland baltimore i mean you got all your divisional games in the back half of the year obviously you got the chiefs on christmas you go to philadelphia a place where they have not played well the last two times they've played in philadelphia they've gotten their butts handed to them so i'm completely on board with with the move they needed to do something and that's a pretty solid something um i'll say this too i think it's better than getting somebody like you know, and Adam Thielen, uh, I think that Mike Williams makes more sense for what the Steelers are trying to do. Um, I think I would have preferred Jacoby Myers, but if you can't get Jacoby Myers, if you can't get Darius Slayton at this point, Mike Williams is a fine consolation prize. It's not an A plus, but it's not an F either. I think it perfectly falls to like a C plus move, makes your unit better and gives you a good chance, a better chance of winning and being more dynamic in the past game going forward. So Good overall move for the Steelers as they gear up for the second half of the season. They'll play Washington uh, this coming Sunday. Washington Commanders just acquired Marshawn Lattimore as well, so Steelers need all the help that they can get uh, in that game. Uh, and look, if they win seven and two going into this, uh, you know, to start off this back stretch where you play a lot of tough games, um, that's a good place to be in. So, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that and tune in for Black, or excuse me, tune in for AFC North Talk um, twice a week with me, Ace, Hugh, and Sonny to talk about all four teams in the AFC North. We're going to be talking a lot of divisional games here in the next two months as all of our favorite teams will be clashing. So appreciate everybody for tuning in. I'm Jared. I will see you guys later on on the channel on AFC North Talk. Take care. And we'll talk soon.